Aquarius, you are up for the September love energy reading. As I say for all of the readings, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I said all of that, let's go ahead and talk about this reading. So I do feel that there was some type of, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't necessarily want to say illusion, but someone might have felt that they were stuck or had to stay in a situation that they didn't have to stay or be stuck in. And now they're kind of realizing like, you know what? I don't really have to be here. I really, really don't. And that's been kind of the energy. Now, dreams is what I'm talking about. Where people may be getting, you could be getting visions, especially during September. We just had a full moon in Pisces, where we had two full moons in one month in August. Full moon in Aries at the end of September. Like I said, could be getting visions and stuff like that. Also, some of you could be dreaming of doing something. You may see places in your dreams, like destinations and stuff. This might be what is inspiring you to travel because I feel like some of you are being inspired to travel. The second card that came out is free to go. You see how she's packed, got her bag, ready to go and see the world. And with that, I feel that's kind of your energy. Now, the other card that came out is my fair lady. This card is about karma, good and bad. Now, for you, I'm not necessarily getting anything. I feel that you haven't made that many waves as related to this whole situation with this individual. I do feel that there has been a lot of silence. I feel that there has been a lot of withholding of information. And I also do feel that there might have even been a little bit of vanity or obsession to a certain degree. This particular card, the butterfly effect, it can be about obsession of oneself. Where somebody, and I kind of feel that might have been the thing. Where for some of you, you may have felt the person was more into themselves than they were into you. Meaning they gave themselves a lot of attention. But when it came to you, trying to sit up straight here. When it came to you, there wasn't, they didn't always make the effort you would have liked for them to make. Now, there were some good times with this person. There were some good times. And also, this card here, Magical Moments, is a single card too. Where it can be about dating, it can be about seeing things, having a good time. I heard creating memories. I feel there was some of that when you were in the relationship with this person. But now you're doing it by yourself. Clarifying this energy is the King of Swords, which is air energy. And notice how there's a butterfly right there, too. Now, I'll be honest, Aquarius, some of you could, this could be you. You could have been the one who was more into yourself than the other person. Or you could have been dealing with another air sign, a Libra or a Gemini. Doesn't have to be, but that could be it, too. But this person didn't say much. Virgo energy. I feel like, even though Herman is Virgo energy, Virgo and Gemini are ruled by the same planet, which is Mercury. I feel like some of you were dealing with the Gemini, even though this is Virgo energy. Um, with this, like I said, not much being said. With the four of Pentacles, Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, this could be holding back, but also being very mindful of your actions, too, because Four of Pentacles is like a frugal energy, is what it is. So it doesn't just do things recklessly. It's not a reckless energy. It's a very reserved energy. And I feel that maybe you or both of you are in the energy of, okay, well, I don't have that much to give right now because I don't know what the other person is giving. It's sort of like everybody's holding their cards close to their chest because they're waiting to see, okay, what cards are you going to lay down? What, what are you going to present? It could be some of that energy. And because one is waiting on the other and it's like a cycle, 
nothing is ever revealed and there isn't any type of um, connection made. Any type of genuine deep connection made. And at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. More air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I feel the other thing with this relationship that was an issue when it came to opening up is that it was hard to trust each other. That That's what I feel. And I, I really believe had there been a better connection when it comes to trust, things might have went differently. But now it's sort of like you're... You're laying your cards down and you're like, you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm I'm folding. <laughs> and I'm 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 leaving because you are free to go and you realize that now. So, that's the energy I feel. I feel you're going to just travel the world. I don't think you're looking for a specific home right now. I think you're just looking for entertainment and knowledge. That's the energy I'm getting. Until next time, Aquarius, be blessed.